The amount of drone enthusiasts has risen dramatically over the past few years. It seems just about anyone can get their hands on a remote controlled drone. However, new legislation now states that all drone hobbyists must register their drone, sit an online test and pay a £9 annual fee. How will this affect the drone community? I spoke with Douglas Harper, owner of Soar Alba Aerial Photography, about the new legislation. I've been doing this now for just over a year. Um, I've done a four day residential course up at Eric Law University to get my CA accreditation to fly it for commercial use. But to be honest with you, with all the software updates and the changes in the law, I don't think it's unfair that we need a license and RC pilots won't because drones are now on the increase. There's more and drones are more readily available to buy in shops. I spoke with Dr. Frederick Bazombus of Liverpool John Muir University who highlighted the dangers of rogue drone use. Very dangerous, and depending who's using them and what they're using them for. You've got some people who fly a drone next to an airport without thinking twice about it. Uh, a small drone will make some serious damage to, to an airplane. However, Dr. Bazombus doesn't believe new legislation will stop drone misuse. So the people who are trying to, to use the drones properly, but it won't stop most people from doing it. The, the problem is uh, retail is so easy to buy. While new legislation appears divisive, it acknowledges that steps have to be taken to combat rogue drone use. And with Christmas coming up, it'll be interesting to see how the new rules affect sales. Darren Gibson, UWS News.